Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the final day on Lake of the Ozarks. It is a foggy one, super foggy, but it's a really nice day. Um, so right now it's like 38, 39 degrees. It's supposed to warm up into the mid 50s today. Fingers crossed that these feeder creeks are gonna open up today uh, when the sun comes out. Actually, sun's already out, uh, but when the sun really comes out and hits all that skim ice that was in these feeder creeks, where I know there's some big fish because Kyler told me there's some big fish in there. Um, and I've fished probably the past three, four years with him uh, on these feeder creeks, and I know this is where we catch the big ones. Um, I think they're gonna be opening up today, and hopefully we can get at them, catch some big fish. Probably gonna do the same exact setup as yesterday, um, either a double jig setup, but yet definitely using the 12 foot ACC, gonna try to live scope some bigger fish. I wanna get to limit today. Wanna get to limit today. I'm hoping this warmer temps are gonna warm up the water. Right now we got 36 degree water temps. Hoping, hoping that jumps into like the 38, 39 degree temp in the next few hours here. And uh, this bite turns on, because yesterday it was super tough to get him to bite. But that's the goal today, catch a limit, catch a good limit, and hopefully get at some of these feeder creeks with some big fish. It is so foggy. <laughs> it's so foggy I can't see anything. I can't even see, I don't know, 100 feet. That's why I'm not gonna run, but it looks like a lot of this ice was actually pushed back. Uh, because Kyler and I yesterday, this is actually where we drove through and tried to chew up a lot of it, which I wouldn't recommend doing unless you don't care about your boat. I don't care if mine had scratches on it, so. It looks like a lot of it actually broke up, or I'm just gonna run into it, I don't know. Oh, there's some ice here. There's some ice over there. Hard to see though. Super foggy. But uh, let's drop the live scope down and see if we can find some fish. I'm gonna get over to the deeper spot. A lot of the fish we were finding over here were at about that nine to 11 foot mark. So let's see if it's open and see if we can find them. I think this is one of those mossback habitat things. Look at that. Not a fish on the damn thing. I don't normally criticize, but there isn't a single fish on that. There's a good one. Man, about time. About time they smacked one. That's number one on the board, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna bring out the bump board here. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's almost a 10 inch fish. Almost a 10 inch. Going in the box. And here we go. Clear that. Our limit is set at 15 again today. So that's a uh, legal limit on Lake of the Ozarks. That's number one. All right, let's change spots. Go back to where we know they are and uh, hopefully put more in the box. There he is. He a keeper, buddy. He might be. Probably short though. Tough, tough bite. I'm gonna change up color patterns. That, that's short. Be a keeper, dude. Dang, he's gonna be another short. We're into some shorts right here. Switch it up to a chartreuse and pearl. These ones are 20 feet down. They're deep. There's a ton of them down there, though. 
This is a good one, I think. I think this is a good one. Yeah, that's gonna be a keeper. I'm pretty sure. He wanted to chase it though. Throw him on the bump billard real quick. I don't wanna lose these fish. Oh my goodness, he's a short. Gosh dang, a bunch of shorts. That might be a better one. That feels like a really good fish. Yeah, that's a good one. Finally got some decent ones down there. He thumped it. It's a no doubter. And that's number two in the box. There we go. Now they're starting to turn on. That might be a keeper, sadly. Gonna be close. Nope, that is an eight and a half inch crappie. So you're going back, big guy. Thirty-five and a half degree water temp. Well, a little, uh, hopefully, there we go. A little mid-afternoon. Well, yeah, two thirty mid-afternoon update. I got two fish in the live well. These crappie do not want to bite, and I'm gonna guess it's because of that thirty-five degree water temp. It, I rolled in here this morning into this exact cove at I don't know 11, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. It was about 33 degrees water temp, so I know these crappie really don't like cold cold water temps. If we can get it above 40 degrees, the bite's going to be really good, but I don't think that's going to happen today. Um, fried apple. Here's what I got tied on. This guy right here. This is the uh, fried apple by Crappie Monster. And I'm still running with the egg sinker rig above it. Um, the bites that I do get, they're actually pretty good. They're like a hard thump um, for the most part. So I'm hoping as the afternoon wears on here, the bite's gonna hopefully turn on with the water temps warming up. It's not gonna hit 40, but if we can get into like 37, 38, I think the bites can be a little bit better. So. I'm gonna put that uh, jig down there, live scope down, and see if we can find some bigger ones. There he is. That's a good fish. That's a keeper. About time. About time. We get one on the board. I better measure him just in case. But I'm pretty sure he's nine. Oh my goodness, he's shy. He is shy. There's a ton of shorts in here. Maybe I should go find other fish. I can see a lot of fish, but they're underneath that ice sheet. I mean, it's it's thawing. I think tomorrow that'll be gone, but unfortunately I'm driving home tomorrow. So we're gonna try to make it happen where we found these crappie. I don't think there's a ton of big ones, so I'm catching a lot of shorts, uh, but we're gonna try to make it happen over there. I ran down to two other feeder creeks and they're still froze over. I can't even, can't even get in them. But uh, we're gonna make the best of it and hopefully get a limit today. It's, it's gonna be a grind. I mean, it's been a grind so far, but it's gonna be a grind. Uh, 30 second ounce jig, small plastic. I could probably go to like a 64th. I think I have some, but 
I kind of want to eliminate the really, really small crappie. I want the bigger crappie to bite. So in order to do that, I'm going to keep my jig size at a 32nd, even though the bite is really tough. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I would have been able to push this trip another week. I think next week, definitely, all the feeder creeks are going to be open. There's going to be a lot of water to fish. The water temp's going to warm up to that 40 degree mark, and the fish are probably going to bite pretty good. I was talking to Kyler about it, and he was pushing a lot of his guide trips to next week um, to the point where he's, I think he's running like two or three guide trips a day. I think it's going to be really good for him next week. So, if you're interested in probably fishing on Lake of the Ozarks, give him a call or uh, email Kyler Beckman Guide Service. I'll, I'll leave a link to some of his social media below. But uh, yeah, we're going to run back over here and hopefully catch a limit. There we go, finally. My goodness. This seems like a better one too. Oh my goodness, because it is a better one. Those big boys are out deep. These are the Lake of the Ozarks crappie that I came here for. Come here, bud. Nice fat ones. No doubt keepers. Whew, just took a while to get on them. No doubters. Number three. Man, I would like to get the rest like that. That might be another keeper. Eh, he's gonna be small if he is one. A lot of shorts over here. Nope. He's a short. That's a keeper. Yep. That's a nine. Gotta be a nine. Slow and steady, the bite is turning on this afternoon. Oh yeah, he's a nine. That'll be number four in the box. Maybe. That might be a keeper. What are you, buddy? Oh yes, he is, nine and a half. Number six, slow and steady. I might need be number six for the box. Got him on that top jig. Yep, number six. Oh no, that was number seven. Number seven, that's why I got that thing. That might, oh, we got off, dang it. I was gonna say that might be a keeper. They are just, they are stacked. There's so many fish down there right now. But very few are biting, which sucks. There's a keeper. Yep, there's a keeper. There's such light taps though. My goodness. Yep. Keeper number eight. I just wanted to show you what I'm looking at here. Probably can scale that, oops, scale that back a bit. So that's a ton of a ton of bait fish. But you see these ones above it? Those are crappie. And then these ones are tight to the bottom crappie. It's like uh, 17 to 24 feet. That's where I'm finding them. So if I go a little bit shallower here. There's little pockets of them like that. There's little pods, just like that guy. 
Yep, see they're scattered across the bottom. I mean, they're all over this little cove. But uh, trying to get them to bite is a whole nother story. I think I got, what do I got, eight? Yeah, I got eight in the box and I've been fishing since 9.30 this morning. Oh well. We're, we're catching, oh, catching crappie and I gotta fix that. That feels like a keeper. They are not big, but if they're big enough to go nine, they're going in the box. Oh my goodness, these are just short, eight and three quarter. Wow. Well, that is going to wrap it up for the day. Unfortunately, I only got eight in the box, which uh, kind of sucks. Yeah, that's, that is what I got, yeah. Oh, that's my limit setter. Go back to, yeah. I got eight. Um, I don't know if there was much I could do other than live bait. I didn't have any live minnows with me. Um, I was using a 30 second ounce jig. You probably could have gone smaller, but I didn't want to start catching like three and four inch crappie. That would have just sucked. Um, so I, I caught a ton of shorts. It's just there weren't a, a big number of those nine plus inch fish in those schools. Um, combine that with what you see here. Most of these finger coves are, are feeder creeks, whatever you want to call them. They're still iced up. They probably won't be iced up uh, first week of March. They'll be probably wide open and they're probably going to be pretty good. I think these fish were kind of shocked when the water temps got to that 34, 33, 34, 35. Um, right now we got, wow, water temps are 39 in this cove. Actually where I was fishing it was only 35. So, better back up. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up the trip on Lake of the Ozarks. I appreciate you watching as always. Kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer I couldn't work around the, the, my work schedule to push another week. Because I think next week's going to be really good. Um, but today, I use the crappie monster. Uh, these are the small fry. The majority of my fish came on these guys. Um, ACC jigs, crappie monster, crappie monster. Small fry, this is the chartreuse and pearl. Use those guys. 12 foot ACC, uh, 15 pound braid, and then the PC Fun. This is a 1000 size Carbon X spinning reel. Crappie Monster, you get 20% off with promo code Davis. That is D A V I S, all capital letters. Davis gets you 20% off. Sorry, the wind's probably terrible. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for me. I'm going to head out of here. I'm going to flay these fish up. Appreciate you watching as always. If you got any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below. Or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. Oh, and this uh, Mad Fishing clicker button. I will link this below as well. Huge thanks to them for helping sponsor these trips. So, we'll see ya.